So I bought this meat mixer a while back to uh, mix up my sausage, my venison sausage, and mix pork into it and seasonings and everything. Because um, it's a pain to do it by hand. Um, but I discovered that it was also a pain to turn the crank on this thing for 5 or 10 minutes at a time. So I wanted to motorize this. Um, unfortunately, all the motors that I have spin really fast, like 1700 RPM, which would be flinging meat all over the house. So I needed something that would go really slow, and I wanted it to be simple. Uh, lo and behold, uh, about a month ago, my old garage door opener broke. It stopped working properly. And I realized that the drive sprocket on there spins nice and slow. So I took apart the garage door opener, removed all the safety circuitry. Bah! Who needs safety? Until all I have is a motor that's geared down, spins really slow. And then I built this... Uh, sprocket on the 3D printer at school and use the same chain from the garage door opener and I tried that and I discovered that garage door opener motors are only designed to run for about 20 or 30 seconds at a time so this one was getting way too hot uh, it would overheat and shut down after about three minutes of continuous use so I added an air cooling system hooked this up to my air compressor made a little piece that would fit right on there and it blows a steady stream of air through the motor, keeping it cool. And so, here we go. Uh, made in operation. Made in voyage. I love it when a plan comes together.